a question I was asked probably once a day for two months was, is the Cardano Foundation going to run its own stake pool? And, and, that's a, and it came so many times, and I was like, wow, I already answered this 65 times, but I'm going to answer it again. And now I'll have the benefit of your podcast. Thanks, Philip, and, uh, and thanks, Rick. Um, to, to broaden that message is that the Cardano Foundation is exactly not running a stake pool. We're exactly doing the opposite. We're enabling others to run their stake pools. We don't want to take away the oxygen of the community and the ecosystem. We want to enable the ecosystem and provide the oxygen for it to grow. Now. So the Cardano Foundation cannot run its own stake pool. And that's not a proper way of, for example, you know, call it a spade a spade, making money. So we need to find other things that does enable the ecosystem and generate some revenues for a long-term sustainability strategy that uh, is, is makes the ecosystem grow and not make it smaller. No? Yeah. yeah. Thanks for that answer, because that helped answer one of the Reddit questions that we're going to get to later. There was a Reddit question about the Corona Foundation operating as a DAO. And it was, it's also a very common question people ask and say, Does, is the Corona Foundation going to run a pool? They also ask, is Emergo an IOHK? And I would like to add to what Nathan said. You know, as far as Emergo and IOHK, I certainly hope they run a pool. There's a lot of ADA and we need it to secure the blockchain. So if they can run a pool and make some money off of it, go for it. That's the whole point. That's why we're doing this. And that's really nice to know the Cardano Foundation plans on not running the pool yet, but enabling the pool operators because there's a lot of pool operators out there putting in a whole lot of time. So thank you for that, Nathan. I really appreciate it. 